I'm glad. I'm gl- that's a great comment for me to start off. Michael Rubin, white party. Now, let me tell you this. Whether you want to like me or not, whether you want to believe me or not, um, I'm in this quote-unquote industry. By force, I always say. I don't think they welcome me. I think I kicked the door down after I picked the lock 20 times. But I'm here. When I say this Michael Rubin white party shit is, I, I'm getting ritual vibes. Trust me, I'm not one of the motherfuckers who think everybody sold it. So somebody made a video of me saying I took an oath. I'm like, what oath is this? <laughs> like, niggas got to give me the script. <laughs> I'm like, what oath did I take? But I do get a little bit weary when I see certain things that I just don't understand. I know a lot of you people think there's a lot of brotherhood and fraternity when it comes to this industry and music industry and all, whatever you might think. Obviously, we're seeing a soccer player here. I don't know who this nigga is. Um, you see a little baby. You see a bunch of people. You're going to see actors, comedians, whatever the case, right? Now, in reality, this industry isn't like that, bro. Everybody's fragmented. People only come together when they can use each other. There is no brotherhood. There is no people all cutting their finger and shit like that. Everybody do their own thing. However, at times, and this is where my confusion's always been, for the life of me, I can't tell why everybody seems to be on like four billionaires' dicks. I just can't tell. I can't. I can't understand it. Now, maybe it's because they throw the best parties, and if that's the case, okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just don't know. But something seems to be off with this entire spectrum. I just got to be honest with y'all, right? It's just no reason why, for example, Meek Mill, who's still tweeting about making, putting out music that he hasn't dropped in like three years. If you ever want to find Meek Mill, you're going to find him with this nigga, the guy right here, Michael Rubin. What this guy does, he used to own a uh, the 76ers. He now owns this like sports merchandise like type of thing. Like I still don't know what he does. Regardless, you're going to see every lit rapper, or not every lit rapper, but most of these guys, like, all up under his ass. And anytime I see that, there's nothing wrong with people having friends or association. Networking is how a lot of people progress. Every time I see this shit, it's always a, hum- it's a, always a humiliation ritual. I never see him bunny hop. I've never seen him get embarrassed. I never see him the butt of the jokes. I've only seen rappers who you think are super thugged out, being in uncomfortable situations, bunny hopping on the ground of the bathroom, crawling, trying to get to the, the, the toilet bowl. I've never seen him out of pocket. That's to me is something wrong. Again, I, you know, I'm the person who usually says y'all are being facetious, y'all are, or y'all being cynical when y'all keep saying, Yo, like the industry have blah, 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 blah. But this is one thing for the life of me, I just don't get. Now, it's nothing wrong with the actual party. Like, for example, Jay-Z went to the party. Now, some of y'all might have your own things about, like, Jay-Z or whatever. Um, You know, see, Jay-Z and Beyonce, I don't necessarily think, I think Jay-Z and Beyonce, they're just great networkers. They own, well, Beyonce, well Jay-Z owns Rock Nation. Beyonce is pretty much like the queen of, like, all women on earth. Um... Them being there, I don't think that's a problem with them being there. It's usually some of the lower level rappers. Like, for example, Kevin Hart. He's there. I never see Kevin Hart do nothing embarrassing. I never I never see it. Well, maybe he's went through his ritual because that's Hollywood shit. But this shit right here seems to be aimed mostly, if you ask me, at ghetto hood niggas who think associating with billionaires will now cleanse them or elevate them to another level. That's my personal opinion. Again, you could call, you, you could refer to me as a grifter or whatever. Maybe because I'm not invited. Maybe I'm just hating. I'm just telling you, until I see one of these fucking billionaires get embarrassed, like how we keep seeing these rappers get embarrassed, I'm going to think something's up with this. These niggas don't rap. They don't promote y'all rapping. They don't throw concerts to pay off for rapping. Yet y'all are always with these niggas like goddamn Slaves, I need to know why. Again, I may be way misinformed, but I am going to speak my own truth, okay? Now, by the way, th- th- this is a footballer right here, or, yeah, soccer player, uh, Mbappe. Um, really, really talented, actually, really talented guy. Um, and again, 
I'm pointing out that these parties, like for this guy, I don't think he was embarrassed. I think he went and chilled out, met probably a bunch of people. Tom Brady, look. <laughs> Nigga, it looked like he's holding his geriatric father who's about to die. By the way, niggas forget the truth about Robert Kraft. Robert Kraft was caught in a motherfucking sting getting his dick jerked off by like an Asian spa, like, you know, a uh, spa masseuse. And, you know, based on the money he had, you know, obviously I keep telling you when these rich niggas tell y'all about they're, they're, they're not getting justice, it's not like you broke motherfuckers. He got caught in a sting getting jerked off. They never released none of the footage, none of the, the, the like, nothing that came out of that. They basically just did away with the case. Why? Robert Kraft was involved in paying for sex from a, um, a spa. It's basically wiped off the map. But anyway, Tom Brady was here. Tom Brady's not getting embarrassed. Tom Brady's cooling. You feel me? Now, this is where shit started getting dicey. The more black faces you see in these pictures, all you're going to see is teeth. And then the more you keep scrolling down, you're going to start seeing embarrassment. Now, again, for me, maybe maybe we're nitpicking. And, and again, I reserve the right to be wrong. But, you know, most notably, a guy who is not my friend, Meek Mill. The bunny hopping thing rubbed, rubbed me wrong. I just didn't understand why Meek was always being seen in the worst light when hanging out with, like, whether whether you want to say, you know, maybe Meek ain't the best on social media or not, like, Meek's still a nigga from the hood. Meek's hanging out with a bunch of corny mil billionaires, and Meek always looked like the wild corny one. This shit's crazy. I, I couldn't even understand. I'm like, wait, how is Meek? How is the billionaires embarrassing Meek? Meek's the cool guy. What the fuck? He's bunny hopping. He's doing all type of shit. Who knows? Like, you know what I mean? They're counting his push-ups. 25, 26, 22. They just go back doing all type of shit. I'm like, this ain't, this, this something ain't right. But then, 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 then. I see Michael Rubin and Lil Baby. And by the way, I'm going to be honest with you. This is just my take. I, again, I reserve the right to be wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'm going to call it comedy. Okay. But I think. Lil Baby been trying to sell something. I don't know if it's his soul or the other thing. He's trying to sell something. We seen that nigga in, 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 in Paris a little bit too many times. This is the reason why I call him Le Bebe. He been trying to get out of that little ghetto environment, but a lot of times when these rappers do it, let me go to the exhibits. Now, what in the fuck is this? Since I didn't, since I didn't get the message, let me zoom out. How come we never see like Tom Brady getting choked out? Does this look like. This look like the cover of a new movie. Django rechained. Fuck unchained. Rechained. What is this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> the hero? The hero of the plantation? What the fuck? Am I tripping? Now... We all know, unflattering pictures, bad angles. It happens. God knows I have a few too. But exhibit B, people. Ain't no fucking way. These motherfuckers got him in a reverse Oreo and he's showing all teeth. Oh my God. Oh my sweet Jesus. They got Le Bebe in a reverse Oreo. And he's all smiles. Man's from the back and another. Who is this nigga right here? They even got like, what is this? What is this Fuchsia? What type of hair color is this? <laughs> what the fuck? Don't tell me this is like Kyle Kuzma or something like that. That nigga look tall. That nigga, that nigga be looking a little moist too. That's Kuzma? No wonder LeBron traded that nigga. Fuck no. 
You ain't winning no championship with that Harry Styles, nigga. Why they got little baby in a reverse Oreo, man? Little baby, man. Again, th these might just be random coincidences. Let me just say that to be nice. But I want to remind a lot of these rappers, not that they will listen to me, but I just want to remind people of the culture. I listened to a podcast with Michael Rubin on the Nelk podcast. Was very sad and unfortunate when I see most of these images that never look flattering to the rappers. I don't think sometimes people realize the currency being transacted at these parties. You have a bunch of billionaires, ones that's about to die. Robert Kraft looked like a slave owner. The nigga like 90. They need culture. Well, maybe not Robert Kraft too much because he does only. I, 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 well, he do own like Kraft cheese, don't he? Well, he own the Patriots. And a, okay, he might not need no niggas. <laughs> but that guy, Michael Rubin, he needs culture. I listened to him on a podcast and all he talked about was trying to sell to culture. Well, here's the thing. You having a billion dollars don't matter if niggas don't fuck with you. So what is it in your benefit to do? Befriend niggas. Befriend the hottest, like throw the best parties. Who knows how much money? He probably lost millions off of this party. But throw the mo the biggest parties, get niggas like little Baby in the reverse Oreo, get Meek on the ground in your bathroom, crawl into the, the toilet bowl. We'll get to that. And then later, you could use them to funnel whatever you got to your businesses. I look at these rappers as... And again, I could be totally wrong. And I hope I'm totally wrong. Because I don't think these guys could be this dense. When I hear these guys rap or talk about anything else in life, they seem way guarded than when they're around these guys. Their ass is out. They're cuddling with niggas. They're in reverse Oreos. They're doing it all. I see little baby when he's around his own people. He got his hand in his pocket. He got his hand in his pocket and you know what he's clutching. He's around these niggas. 4 PF stand for another. <laughs> that PF stand for something else. Think about it. I'm just wondering if these rappers understand the optics. It's not cool that our favorite popping Atlanta rapper is looking like a double stuffed Oreo. That's not cool. It's not cool. This little white party shit. Again, it's a dope party in theory, but it's always looking weird for the rappers. Like, for example. Now, I don't even blame this on Michael Rubin. I won't even blame this on Michael Rubin. What in the fuck is Meat Mill even thinking about posting some shit like this? Meat Mill posted something on a story. He says too much liquor. Of course, he got to show off the AP on the wrist. But it's Meek, clearly, who has to be on his knees. Trying to crawl to the toilet bowl. And I don't know. I don't got this type of toilet. Okay, this is some rich nigga shit. I don't, this shit look like is. I know this ain't shit stains back here. I, I, I know this ain't what I think it is. What type of party gets you in this type of mood? Wait. Oh, my soundboard and all? Fruits. Yo, me crawling to the toilet bowl like one of them thoughts. Like me, yo, me look like one of them niggas on WWE. You ever see when they doing um 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 
some shit for like the title belt and you got to climb up there to go get in and the person just barely making it up. What is Meek doing? You know what a confusing thing about, and, and again, I don't hang in these circles. Y'all are right. I do not hang in these circles. So I'm making assumptions. I'm, 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 I'm probably wrong. I'm probably wrong. But I think these are reasonable assumptions. You know why all this is crazy to me? Me getting pissy drunk with these fucking billionaires all day, every year, 20 days out of the month. But let this nigga need to invest some money into some stocks. He going to be on Twitter asking us, how do I download Robin Hood? This shit is crazy. How the fuck you par you partying, getting shit faced with the billionaires, but you ain't doing business with the This shit is ridiculous. Anybody know where I could get a private jet? Nigga, what? Now, to be fair, because Meek Mill is my homie. Oh, wait, did he delete his Twitter? No way he deleted his Twitter. Says his account didn't, doesn't exist. Did Meek delete his Twitter? No fucking way. No fucking way. Now, I just want to restate it because some people are gonna they're gonna look they're gonna look beyond what I'm saying. I don't have a problem with this white party. Look, Kim K is here. I just have a problem with the rappers that we like looking and coming off like stooges and like motherfucking house niggas to these white billionaires who the majority of their audience, which is rap fans, do not care about. We do not give a fuck about Mike, Michael Rubin. So when we see you acting all cool and tough when it comes to the hood, and we see you crawling on your knees in the bathroom, and you getting put in a double-stuffed Oreo by this nigga, we're like, what is going on? What, what, what am I missing? Now again, I ain't, truth be told, I ain't get invited to this party, so so I don't know like what 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 what, what this is, means or whatever. But I don't see everybody doing it. Jay Z ain't getting bent over by these niggas. Well, maybe if like you know that nigga Jack that used to, that that originally owned Twitter, yeah, him and Jack be into some bitch some shit. But not not Michael Rubin. What is J Lo? Okay. Yo, J Lo be still looking young. I ain't gonna lie. Tom Brady looking a little old right here, man. Tom looking old, man. Tom looking old, bro. Oh, Travis Scott was there. Okay. Quavo was there. Who this nigga right here? Kevin Hart. Who this nigga right here? I really don't know white people. I expect James Harden to be be doing some flexible shit. Last year they were doing a tickle fight. Once I seen these two niggas and Meek doing a tickle fight, I said, "By the way, tell me Shorty over here who is the who's serving drinks don't look like she she could have easily been in Get Out." Oh, Drewski was there. Okay. If anything, they should have Drewski doing all the funny shit. Drewski's a comedian. Jack Harlow. Okay, I see you, Jack. Who these niggas? This is um, Chris Jenner boy toy. This is DJ Khaled. This is um, um OBJ, and these two are these two are two Negroes. I don't know what the fuck. Oh, Usher was there. Yo, by the way, we going to get to it, man. But salute to my boy Usher, man. Yo, Usher and Youngboy have made it, have normalized herpes for the whole world, man. Niggas don't even act like they got it. Let people win it. Anyway, we'll get to it. All right. 
That was my thing. 